please leave a message after the tone. No sound. You've got seven questions due. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do when you need? Gentlemen, to another episode of New Clan After Dark. I'm Joe. I'm Caleb Craig. Cameron. Caleb Schweiss. And uh, we got two? Yep. We got two questions this week. Let's see what we got here. Hey, New Clan, this is Frank. I want to ask you guys you could change your name to anything. What would it be and why? Mm, if I could change my name to anything, what would it be? If you could change your name. Anything. Well, real quick, hang on. Would you spell Caleb with a C? No, C Caleb's are. I have a thing about C Caleb's. They're all cunts. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's what the C is for. Yeah. Um, and oh, then really? A, yeah, <laughs> they wouldn't say the same about you. Probably, no, I'm a K Caleb. I can't be yeah. a cunt. <laughs> we're we're superior. I could be a oh. cunt, but uh, one thing mm-hmm. there's a there's a guy at work that I've shared this philosophy with, and sometimes when I do something that bothers him, he calls me a C Caleb. It's like, that great. sounds like something it'd a C Caleb would do. It would have been great. Like, there's this guy at work I shared this philosophy with, and he wasn't too happy with it because he's a C Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was very upset. <laughs> no, but in my phone, I have his uh, number as C Kent. It's like C-K-E-N-T because <laughs> he's a C Kent. He's a little bitch. I was wondering why you just didn't put his name with the C instead of a K, but that would spell cent, and that'd be very confusing. Yeah, it's odd. And then I have to <laughs> I have to keep it in in fifty cents number his and fifty cents separate. They're very different people. I can't say the same things to fifty cent that I can say to C Kent. Yeah. What oh. things would you say to C Kent? You can't say to fifty cent. Yeah, I would what, you bash can't, his, what can't you say to I, 50 I would cent? bash his music. And yeah, I can't have him know that I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> especially after all of the especially especially after all of the uh the advertising for his game that I've done over the years like and still have yet to play I'll take you completion. to the candy shop he always sounds like he's bored when he's singing <laughs> I like a lemon lollipop <laughs> like he's about to go to sleep yeah kinda yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What yeah. would you change your yeah. name to? Mm-hmm. What would I change my name to? Yeah. Nothing. I told Caleb here. This is kind of similar. I told Caleb uh, the other day that he should name his child after me, <laughs> but and he was like, "So name it after me." And I was like, "No, Caleb. You need to name him Caleb Michael Schweiss Craig." <laughs> <laughs> your firstborn must be Caleb Michael Schweiss Craig, and mine will be uh, Caleb Farnsworth Craig Schweiss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, w- I would totally do it if that were a possibility. <laughs> that's, yeah, <laughs> that's not going to happen in either. Either way. like <laughs> to go by their middle names too, just to further complicate things. <laughs> yeah, Farnsworth and then Mike. Yeah. Wow. No, no, no. It would have been Craig and Twice. Oh, their second middle name. Yeah. Right, right, right. Got it. That would be really tough, especially if they got into podcasting. <laughs> With us. <laughs> Caleb Craig. Craig. Caleb. Caleb Schweiss. Joe. Cameron. <laughs> How many fucking Caleb's can there possibly be in one room? Um, A lot. I don't know. I kind of like my name. I used to I used to not as much, but I don't want to go by Michael either. So I, Fuck, I don't know. I, Farnsworth I don't know. would be a really weird name to go by. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've never thought about changing my name, though. I just, it just doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. Neither have I. Yeah, me My neither. last name is doesn't a fuck, but I don't, I don't know what one I would choose over it. Uh, I, I mean, you guys call us Craig and Schweiss anyway, so I mean, it's... I mean, it's the only way to keep things consistent for the listeners, so... That's true, yeah. I used to be, they could tell you're talking to by the inflection in your voice. Then they would know which uh, Caleb you're asking after. But yeah. uh, they've lost that ability since we just started using Craig and Schweiss. Oh, it's just because occasionally 
I think on the show I would have to like differentiate. Oh, Caleb Craig. Yeah. Caleb Schweiss. Correct. And then eventually just Craig or Schweiss. Went down to Craig or Schweiss. But before then, before the show, I think the show actually changed that dynamic. Mm. Before the show, we called both of them Caleb. Correct. And they would tell by the inflection you used. That to yeah, if you were angry with them, Craig would pipe up and yeah. respond. It it's... would be Caleb, what the <laughs> shit? And then Caleb, like, what? <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yep. Um, Never thought about changing my uh, name. Eventually, it's just going to be K and Sh. <laughs> like, it's going to further devolve from Caleb and, then, and Caleb to, like, Schweiss Craig and then just G. I would change my middle name to <laughs> Hetfield. <laughs> Hetfield, Joseph Hetfield de Gaulle. That works, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm up for it. All right, well, Craig, you have what? a response to that? Why would I have a response to that? If you know. had to change your name, how about if that? If I had to change yeah. my name, I don't know. I just like swap it. This would be like Craig Farnsworth, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, yeah, because Craig is also a first name. Yeah. Why, did, yeah. why didn't your parents just call you Craig Craig? Or Craig Then, you call it, then you're going to be like, hey, Craig Craig. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, Craig already has another uh, name that we can use. Just call him Cubby. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, why don't you just change your name to Cubby? <laughs> no. Just permanently with Cubby. And then nope. the nickname can be Caleb or Craig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That would be ridiculous. Come here, Cubby, 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 Cubby. And then you'll know when we're serious and like angry because we'll call you by your real name, which is Cubby. <laughs> Cubby, now. <laughs> I would never be able to take you seriously. Cubby, clean up your mess. <laughs> clean up your mess, Cubby. Three, two, don't make me count to one. Cubby Farnsworth Craig, get over here. <laughs> What's sad is that Cubby sounds like Chubby. <laughs> Cubby, yeah. Chubby, Caleb, Craig. Next time I have Craig over, we're, we're going to go out to eat. I'm going to take him to Cubby's. Oh, that's I've good. never been there. It's a burger place, too. Yeah. It's like, what name should I, I put on the order? Other things. Cubby. There was a fucking... Uh, fucking with me? <laughs> there was a pizza place next to my granddad's house in, uh, in um, St. George that was called Cubby's. Was it good? So there you go. It, it just accept, right. accept your new name. Is that... Which has been your real name forever. Cubber. Cubby Cubber. Why do they call you Cubby? I don't know. Because he's a little bear. Because he's a bear, yeah, but he's also a kind of a cub. small dude. Didn't, yeah, didn't Maybe. your dad say call you Cubs instead of Cubby? Yeah, occasionally. Yeah, he'd say Cubs. Your mom would he'd, say He'd cubby. further add a nickname to the nickname that was already there. Uh, Spirits Within it's... won't be reviewed with this, by the way. Um, answering a question. Somebody asked if we were going to review Spirits Within on this, but that's not. that doesn't count. No. It's got to be live action. Speaking well, of I mean, when we're done with live the live action, action ones, theatrically well released. With, uh, yeah, I guess we could. The animated ones. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Never thought about changing my name. It's one yeah, of those things. It's like, it's like a weird revolt thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, only weird people do that. Yeah, keep your real name. Yeah. Especially if you're going to barely change it in some stupid way. Like slightly move around a couple letters. <laughs> Don't do that, because <laughs> people will never be able to let it go, and they'll think about it occasionally and be like, "Why the fuck? Yeah. Why would you do that?" Some weird made up name to another weird made up name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's super weird. It is odd. Yeah, it is odd. Um, anyway, let's get to question number two here. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to follow up on the advice you gave me last week. We definitely um, answered that it. one. What? Why does it say it was from Sunday? Oh, which Sunday? Oh, I see what it was. He Last called Sunday. us, and I didn't answer, so it updated him. Let me see what this one hey, is. Hey, new clan, this is Igor. Got a question for you. What do you guys think your alignments are in D and D? I myself think I'm a neutral good. I think Joe's chaotic neutral. I think Caleb lawful good. I think Craig's probably chaotic or lawful evil. I think twice is a true neutral. A true neutral? Is that what he said? Schweiss is a true neutral? What did he say mine uh, was? He was not say chaotic good or something. No one shit. ever says... Thank you, Black Mage Justin. So let's I listen to that again. I think chaotic good. All right, one more time. Well, you can turn hey, on. Nuclear, this is Igor. Got a question for you. What do you guys think your alignments are in D&D? 
I myself think I'm a neutral good. I think Joe's chaotic neutral. I think Caleb's lawful good. I think Craig's probably chaotic or lawful evil. And I think twice is a true neutral. He breaks the Caleb's I think, a couple of times. I think he meant Cameron as yeah, lawful I think, good. I think he meant you when okay. he said Caleb. So you're the first one. Okay. The, you're me, but not. So I'm chaotic neutral? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is not true, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm either lawful evil or a chaotic, chaotic neutral. Is that what he means, or what? Yeah. Just chaotic. No, one of you guys think, was good. I think I, I think Cameron was supposed to be the good guy. Cam Cam is the good guy, but he said okay. I was either chaotic or lawful evil. <laughs> Which, Which one do you... Okay, Cameron, you're the only why one who... Why am I lawful evil? Who's played what did D&D I do to make you think that I'm evil? All of our D&D experience was recorded over this podcast, yeah. so you, you want to tell us what you think? So my or first, what the fuck these My first mean? actual D&D character was lawful good, but that's just a, just a fucking pain in the ass to be lawful good, so I switched it to lawful neutral. So there's that. Mm-hmm. Um, so he says you were what? I was chaotic neutral. Just means you do whatever the fuck you want whenever you want to. You have no real, you know, theme with your actions. You just do whatever you want whenever you want. That to. sounds like none of us, but yeah. <laughs> um, what was Craig supposed to be? He said chaotic or lawful evil. So either you're you're just doing whatever the fuck you want in a generally bad way, or you follow your own rules. That is bad for everyone else. I could see that last one. Yeah. And what was Schweiss? Neutral. So you just you just don't take sides with anything. You just do what you want to do. That is Schweiss, so incorrect. Schweiss is always <laughs> on the opposing force. Yeah, whatever you think, Schweiss is on the opposite side for his own fucking pleasure. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's why I'm so I'm so neutral because I just don't care. So I'll be on the opposite side. So you, yeah, you don't you don't really help anyone because of any cause. You're just neutral for yourself. So easy. St- to play D and D because you can basically do anything and not have to think it's going against your alignment. So hmm. chaotic neutral though is even more so, but you go to the extremes in either way. All right, we. Okay. I think this guy gave us one more question, so let's do it. Hey, new clan. This is Dan. Got a question for Mister Swice. How do you deal with all these people who actually try to, you know, work for a living? Instead of saving money and spending smart, how do you live with all these people who just get uptight about dumb, dumb things? Too much drama. Yeah? All right. Hey. Okay, so wait. How do I deal? This guy doesn't know you at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can play it again, because I'm not sure if I understood what that One more time. One more time. Hey, new clan. This is Dan. Got a question from Mr. Swice. How do you deal with all these people who actually try to, you know, work for a living instead of saving money and spending smart? How do you live with all these people who just get uptight about dumb, dumb things? Too much drama, yeah? All right, hey. Okay, so it sounds like... Is this a a rip on Schweiss? Like, it sounds like a two-part question. Yeah, so first first off, he calls you Mr. Slice. I can't unhear that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Mr. Slice. Second part, he goes, oh, how do you God. deal with these <laughs> dumb, dumb people yes. who work for a living and don't save money? Or is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, I around? think that's part one is how do I deal with all these people that are bad with money? I think is what. Oh, OK. That would make more sense. Because I was like, OK, I do work. So like, ah, OK, he's not ripping on me. But and then how do I deal with all of these people that get so uptight about everything? Um, very poorly is how I deal with them. Uh, I rip on them. So you get uptight about their uptightness. <laughs> I get mad about people. It's kind of a theme that I see. I get mad on. about people that get mad about stupid things, yes. I get frustrated that we live in such a chill society that you can become angry at things that you made up and made the rules for and are then upset about because of the rules that you put in place that you believe in. It's hmm. so like The Rock not being allowed to be in that movie because he's not a paraplegic. That's because we're not at war, or we are at war, and it's light. We're not. We don't have problems in society anymore. What we need is a good, a good like plague. We need something to hit into. We a need building. a cleansing. We need a cleansing. Is what we need. A Holocaust, if you would. Something like uh, that's. I think <laughs> that's what happens, though. You get so 
laid back and you don't have to worry about anything that you start worrying about things that you shouldn't be worrying about because they're not issues that you've then created as issues because there's nothing else on the mind. We need devastation to exist <laughs> in our true form of surviving. I think that's kind of how it is. Like the better society becomes, the more niche our problems become. Like, wow. I mean, triggers and shit like that. That wouldn't happen if we were at war, in, like really at war, <laughs> like in our in the uh, trenches. You wouldn't you, be talking about that. I'm pretty no. sure it was a Dan Carlin book, or it could have been some the Dan Carlin episode or something I read where there's like a cycle in history where bad times make tough people, tough people make good times, good times make soft people, soft people make bad times. Yeah, I think that's what it is, and that's where we're at right now. We're soft, and we are in bad times where we're concentrating on non-issues. That we're making into issues. So we're upset at it. So it's like if I made a board game and I made all the rules and then I got upset at how bullshit the rules were to the game that I created. That's like how it feels now. It's like we've created these problems that weren't an issue before. And it's not like and they're never an issue. That's the thing is they're not issues ever. They never have are or will be issues. But you've created it. And now you're upset at the fact that people aren't playing by your rules that you created in a scenario that you fabricated. Uh, that's how I... And I, I don't deal with it well. That's the answer. I mock it <laughs> incessantly. I, I call it out for what it is, which is total bullshit. Um, and then I ask people who think differently than me what they think, and a lot of times they think it's bullshit too. Like I... I okay, I saw something on Twitter. Well, there's a problem. <sighs> yeah. That's a, it's <laughs> problem number one. It's Twitter. And, and, and what it was is... Uh, it was this girl recounting her one of her childhood experiences, and it was like she was in karate, and she was she was going up in a match, and she was going against a boy, and the boy saw her and was like, "I don't want to fight a girl," and so she said she kicked him in the nuts, and then like walked away, and everyone like in the tweet was like applauding her and was like, "Yes, perfect actions," and I was like. I looked at that and I was like, isn't karate supposed to teach you like discipline and like control? And that's what I tweeted. And then someone was like, that was the controlled response. And I'm like, oh, is the uncontrolled one to like cut his fucking head off and like <laughs> drink his blood out of his head? I'm like, well, how is that the controlled response? You kicked him in the nuts. It's like, I don't agree with what you just said. I'm going to physically harm you now. It's like, nah, I've heard that before. What the controlled what, what response regime? Would have been to fight him in a match and win. That exactly. would have been the controlled response. And not punish him for something asinine that one of his sexist parents probably said. Like and then everyone was like hailing it like thank you for your oh, such a strong action. I'm like physically sure, but it's a dick move. Like <laughs> literally. Literally a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, isn't that like fighting the thing that you're fighting? Like you're becoming your or worst enemy. You're like fighting this idea of uh of a uh, patriarchy by being violent and putting yourself above other people, which is what the patriarchy is. It's it's fucking asinine. And then like it's seriously and I and I told her I was like that doesn't seem very controlled to me but I'm How not How old was this chick supposed to be? She was like 9, 9 or 8. So it's so during, she's terrible so at karate. During, so first of all it's during an age where boys are taught not to hit girls. And thus would probably be a reason for why he didn't. But of course, she fight the took girl. it as him being a sexist, even though he's a even kid. Even though he's yeah. nine, <laughs> yeah, he's a kid. And I'm like, and people were hailing it like it was this celebrated thing. And I'm like, this is a uh, that's not karate. Like he, I, that's, you're supposed yeah, to control yourself. That's what that thing. That's what that's all about. It's self discipline. You're supposed yeah, to be yeah. disciplined to the point where you. Don't act out yeah. on your bare Karate instances. Karate teaches you not to use violence unless it's an absolute last resort. So she but basically that, that is just the last went against the teachings. Hit, Clearly. I mean, I was told by my... I took karate for four days, so I'm an expert. Exactly. I was told... That <laughs> We're all experts here. <laughs> uh, I, was, uh, I was told, you know, I mean, if it's really a bad situation, take the cheap shot. Yeah, get out of there. But that's not... If it's a, if it's a match, is that what Yeah, that it was, was a match. Yeah. Well, then that's not... That's not the. Did she kick him in the nuts situation. before the match, or was that during? The it match? was before. It was after he said that she kicked him in the nuts, and I'm like, "That's uh, like a that's a real Nazi it her, move." Was it her there. tweeting like, this on Twitter, or was it her mom tweeting? It was her tweeting it. Her memory. So a like, nine year old. Oh, a memory. Of oh, it was her, oh, her in the past. She was remembering uh, it, and everybody was like happy that she did that. And I'm like, "Yes, use force against those who disagree with your beliefs. That's a healthy 
mm. real healthy. You know, I, I can't imagine a time in history where that went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Not once. Yeah. Mm. Teach and that, women so, to use violence for no reason. So that, yeah, I don't deal with those people well, world. and I call them out on it, and then I look like an asshole because I am being an asshole. But I'm being an asshole because they're stupid. They, they're they like, they, they, they want to force you to do something. They want to force you to not be a certain way. They're, okay, you, all right, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the becoming your worst enemy idea. It's the idea that they want to eradicate, you know, um... They want to eradicate people that claim to be Nazis, quote unquote, in real life nowadays, which is a pretty fucked up thing to claim to be, right? Yeah. But they want to like, they want to make them not allowed to like the the video of the dude, the not the guy who says he's a Nazi getting punched in the face, and everybody's like, yeah, fuck that guy, punch him, and it's like, that's kind of what they say too. They're like, oh, that guy thinks differently, you know, kill him, fuck him, let's take him out, let's not let him talk. It's like, you're all Nazis in this picture. The guy who punched him. For talking and speaking his racist piece of shit mind. Kind of a Nazi in that way of forcing and controlling someone and forcing them to think and adhere to what you want or they get punished with violence. That's what that was. Was you either are, you gotta be, one, you gotta be born perfect, which, you know, kind of hard. And two, blue eyes. yeah, you have to be, you have to think the way we think or we take you out. Like, that's, that's what that was. And, and to me, being violent against someone because of what they believe, even if it's, even if it's wrong. And yeah, the comment that the guy made to the girl, that was wrong. That was rude. That's steeped in stupidity and probably his something his dad said. Or maybe it was like what Joe said, where you're not supposed to hit girls. It could have been any of those. That's what he said, not me. Yeah. Or, or Craig. It could have been any of those things. But like, it, it I'm okay doesn't with matter. <laughs> you're okay with what? I'm okay with hitting girls. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. If I, I didn't say that. <laughs> That's my... Uh, my uh, um, if I get hit, yeah, I'm gonna, no. It's I, pretty similar to my argument where the guy was like talking about close, close-minded conservatives, and I was like, "Well, isn't you or generalizing conservatives generalizing?" That was his thing. Yeah, and it's all. And I got mad at him. Like, hold on, you just generalized that all conservatives were generalized. Isn't that also a generalization? Do you not see your own? It, you're being a hypocrite right now. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can't. We do I, not deal in absolutes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get, I the get you. Fucking line. And it's frustrating to me because it's all these people and their little. It's like a flock of fucking hens, and they're like in their group. And then I come in, I'm this like big bad wolf, like, ah, fuck you, you're wrong. And then they like they block me on Facebook, and then they like huddle back together in their little protective bubble of well. retardation and. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I think, I think it's, your Facebook trolling is ridiculous, but it's it's ridiculous. But I mean, still, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make I get people something out of it. I do, I do, and I, and I think it's good to be offended. <laughs> I think it is healthy for you to be offended on mm-hmm. on occasion because then it this doesn't happen. But for me, it's happened before. I've thought about like, okay, why did that bother me? And then I think about it. And I'm like, well, you know, I can kind of see where they're coming from. But the problem is, is these other people that I troll, they don't think that. They instantly it's, go. It's oftentimes. It's studies being have shown. Being offended by their offense. Studies have shown that oftentimes when you present a legitimate argument to someone, they hold on to their beliefs even harder. So, so you got to go crazy. No, I'm just saying. No. It's just studies have shown that people will refuse to stop believing the way they believe. Yeah. it's And it's insane. I think it's. And that's what bothers me about it is like people put themselves in groups and they make reality what they want it to be. They mm-hmm. block off any other opposing um, opinion. And then they're but like, isn't that what we've always done? And then suddenly when Trump wins, they can't believe it. They're they're literally like, how did this happen? It's like, well, because you only talk to people that think the way you do. So you didn't realize there were other people out there that thought differently because you just blew them off as if they didn't exist. <laughs> 50 percent of ours or more than 50 percent of our state voted for him right yeah uh i can't find those people though that's that that's where i'm like i can't fucking believe this yeah but like my mom is like i know like three people who voted for him so yeah. my mom said and so it's like okay so she's with there's some members of her crowd that voted for him i can't and i i honestly like there's where the fuck are these people? I, that's true. That does exist with that, us. I don't know like, where they are. Either. I don't know where they are. It's not like I block, locked myself off from them. I have two Facebook friends that vocally said that they were Trump supporter, supporters on Facebook. So I don't know. I don't know where those people are. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. My mom knows people who voted. 
for him. And then she started spouting out kind of like she was probably in a discussion with someone and she was impressionable at the moment and decided to start thinking that way and tell him like, you know, you, let me show you where this is dumb. <laughs> so, yeah. So I don't deal with it well. And I try to, okay, I try with air quotes to approach it diplomatically but it's impossible with these people like you can't have an, a, a differing opinion because then they'll just call you they'll be like you can't do oh, it oh he's yeah, opening oh, our guy. mind to new ideas oh, yeah. oh yeah, here's, the, yeah, here's the one that i love here's the one that i love i it was about it was about abortion i'm not going to tell you what i thought no you're going to know what i think about it because she was like and then someone was like oh look someone without a someone without a uterus telling me how to use mine i'm like i don't think i need to have one to tell you you probably shouldn't be sticking a fucking hanger up there like i I don't think that's like in the manual. I don't need to have the fucking uterus handbook to realize that's that you probably shouldn't do that. Like I have, I, I have, I don't have boobs, but I, I think you should probably not like fucking bounce them super hard corks. It looks like it would probably hurt. I don't have them, so I can't say for I'd sure. I'd like to see that though. The thing that I, yeah, the I, thing that I love though is the, the, well, you don't have this, so you can't have an opinion on it. It's like, I, everyone can have an opinion on it. Like I, I might not experience it, but then the problem I have with that too is like, then suddenly it's like, so, what if someone does and they're a big figure? Do you must you abide by their opinion because they have one, thus they must know how to use it? It's this idea of we have to have a leader figure and we follow whatever they say, and like it's 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 all part of that stupid fucking idea of of stupidity. It's it's bad. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying though? Like it's like. It's like the South Park episode where uh, the guy says uh, the N-word instead of naggers, and he has to go apologize to these big figures, and it's that mentality. It's the idea that by doing that, everyone must then be okay with what he said, and it's not okay. It, 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 just because one person in a community says something is okay, that doesn't mean that everyone thinks that way, but a lot of people do follow that person, and like, it's, it's insane to be molded by, by that, and it's... I don't deal with it well. That's how, that's how I don't deal with it well at all. I've I've been slowly trying to shut up. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I my political man. rantings on Twitter have slowly declined. I try, I try. Yeah, exactly. Skull only gun owner. She talking about gun control. I <laughs> I was gonna. T- <laughs> I was going to tell her that. I was like, only gun owners should talk about gun control. But what she told me is that... All four of us are gun owners. We are, yeah. Yeah. What she told me was like... I don't own a gun. Okay, three out of four of us I mean, it's just I don't... I can't You can't have an opinion, though. I can't justify the cost of one right now, but it doesn't mean I don't want one. (laughs) Oh, and that's... You still can't, can't, though. That's... You can't have uh, an opinion until you own one. Part of it was that... That's what it was about. They were like, we need to ban guns because they're killing people. And I'm like... And then somebody else said something about a abortions and i was like well, okay i mean do so the people is, who claim that uh well, the you don't have a good. uterus so you can't have an opinion on it what if like that person was transgender yeah what do you what do you do then? what 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 Ooh. then oh please are they are they this. not allowed please. to have an opinion on it that's a good question but what she told me before she blocked me was <laughs> maybe your mom should have aborted you so that you wouldn't have this terrible opinion on abortion and i was going to be like Maybe somebody should shoot you in the face so that you wouldn't have such a poor opinion about gun control. But I got blocked oh. before I could say that. That would have been epic. Because she was like, you're wrong. And then you should have been aborted because you think differently than me. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I didn't. I never that, told you yeah, you should that's, die that's for being different. Up. Yeah, I know. That's like way worse than what. <laughs> and then they block me, they and took then it they to the next level, and then they go back in their little coop with their like like minded assholes, and they and it's like God, you don't even have room for a differing opinion. That's a Safe great space. Name for a group, by the way, like minded assholes. But do you have room for a? Different yes, opinion? I do. I used to be. Group. Yeah, I was all like for uh, Facebook groups. We've yeah. Yeah. I was all for um, abortion like a few years ago. I would, not all for it. Now, like everybody should do it, but like I assholes is to not be like minded. It's four arguments. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But it, and I know this is this is probably against what a lot of people think. It's and honestly, to be completely fair here, the president is the one that made me start thinking about it. And one wow. of the debates because Hillary was like, I, I believe that women have the right to choose. And I was like, yeah, that sounds fair. And then Trump responded with, like, I don't think anyone should be able to make that choice. I don't think that's a decision we should make. And I was like, wow, that's actually I, that's kind of a good point. I'm like, because. I mean, we're basically saying that, oh, this is going to be inconvenient, so I'm going to kill it. Something that would otherwise live, or why would I take this pill to nuke it out of my body, right? And to me, I was like, that's a good point. Is that something that, a decision that anyone should be able to make? And I'm like, I don't, I don't think it is. 
And the hard part for me is like people are like, oh, well, what if they're like, a, you know, a product of rape or something? Like that? I'm like, that's really rough. But at the same time, like, does that baby like that? What effect does that have on the the child? I mean, like, it, that doesn't mean they shouldn't exist. It's like, oh, they're gonna have a hard life. It's like, so should we just abort every child that's gonna be born in Africa because they're gonna have a hard life? No, that's ridiculous. We wouldn't do that. So why is that a justification? For they're going to have a hard life in America. It's so difficult. The poverty, everybody... Yeah, poverty has... Everybody has a big screen when they're poor. Exactly. Uh, uh, and it's it's not me saying, you know, poor people need to stop buying iPhones to be less poor. It's me saying everyone has a TV. They should, by the way. They, they should. But I'm not saying that, even though I just did. It's... <laughs> it's we live in such a, yeah. a rich version of poverty that it's impossible to be... To, to even have that opinion in my idea. So it's like... It's how can you say that it's better to not be than to be? It's better to not be than to be in this kind of shitty situation. Wow. You can't make that call. Which is uh, uh, here's what that's why I don't think here's it's right. what's interesting to me, Schweiss. Um, and this is something I go back and forth on. I don't have a solid opinion. on It's this. hard to. It's a everything is hard to have I don't, a solid. Opinion I don't have on. a solid opinion on this. But yeah, Nude Clan, the video game podcast, the place where you talk about abortion. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> the. Uh, the thing that I go back and forth on is deciding as a nation, is life sacred or is life not? Because I see on both sides of these fucking football teams, one football team's called the Republican Party, one football team's called the Democratic Party. Fuck them both. They're both terrible. Um, and so on the Democratic Party, uh, uh, chill, <laughs> the uh, fetus life uh, with a heartbeat, uh, that's, not, that's not sacred life. We can kill that. But we can't kill the guy who killed a bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, and we can't do that. But then on the other side, let's murder the guy who murdered a bunch of people well, and don't kill the, the child. So is life sacred or is life not that, sacred? Well, on top of that, like the great lengths In which that case, we go to to protect animals. Is God animals? real or is God not real? Because that's the answer to both of those questions. Yeah. I don't know. And instead of being, you should either life is sacred and you don't kill anybody or life is not sacred and... You kill everyone. You can make some exceptions. I don't know. I can just feel. I feel like I can personally not like abortion for my own reasons, but it's their, it's their body. It's their choice that they. Yeah, can but that's make. not what they're killing, though. I know. That's the hard part about it. Is yeah, but it's their body, but the thing that they're killing is another life that would have yeah, lived. Right. So that is the same as me killing Craig right now. I am ending something that would have lived longer than it lived because I shot it in the face or stabbed wow. a hanger into it. So is and now life, it's not. Is life sacred? Is life not? What is life? Yeah. That's all why those, it's a, Those are all questions to me. I don't have an opinion on it because those are all just open-ended fuck if I know. Yeah, that's the hard part. Is it's, <laughs> and I've, I've realized that over time that... There is a good argument on either end of things, and it's, that's what makes it so hard to take sides. It, it only don't. is if you listen to both arguments, isn't there? If you close off, yeah, then it's yeah. obvious which one is true, and it's the one that you didn't close off. <laughs> that's what makes it so hard, though, and I don't know if I have the right answer, and I don't know if I... Um, you, if but I'm you right. definitely don't have a uterus. No, I don't have a okay. uterus, so it doesn't matter if I have the right answer. Even if I had the cure for it, I, I, I couldn't because I don't have a vagina and a, and a uterus hanging around in there. But... Uh, yeah, that, so like it's, I so I don't deal with those people well, and they don't deal with or me whether very or not well. suicide should be legal or not. You know, yeah, like euthanasia. Yeah, I think that should be legal. Well, that's interesting. I think you should be able to kill yourself if you want to. Do you do you not see a um, what's the word I'm I mean, looking you can. for? Do you not see a difference between I don't know euthanasia and getting rid of something that's like a parasite to you in your uterus no there is a big difference there yeah, yeah. that's a big difference for you yeah it is it's okay. i would no longer to not get pregnant i no longer want to live versus my i just want to kill this thing off yeah no, well, the thing is is like the shot the shot is super cheap and like the pill is super cheap without insurance so like yeah it's but but here's Mickey Salmanka saying their body is their decision i understand i get that your yeah. opinion yeah we all get it uh, my question is, and a question to ask yourself is, is it is the child inside their body? And then you have to go. Then you have to go. Does the you have to go all the rights? way back and go? 
Is a child's life sacred? Is a child's life more sacred than a woman's life? Why do I feel like one life is more sacred than another life? And here's the thing. Why is life sacred? Nobody dies in childbirth anymore. <laughs> That's not a thing. So like half well, the argument is like... Do. Some people still It's do. pretty fucking have rare. To, it's well, low. It's low. Yeah, it's it, fucking low. They have low. to have like a certain condition. And children conceived from rape is fucking low. So the, the like big issues that everyone's like, this is why we can't take it away... There are a tiny, tiny percentage of people that are affected by that. Not that they're not affected and not that it's not a huge deal when it happens, but it's like you can't make that your platform of like, I don't know, two out of every million of these is actually based on the health of the person that would have to give birth. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, is like, just be responsible with yourself. Like, I don't get why. Are you allowed to say you don't know? (laughs) Are you allowed in this society to go, I don't know. I'm not adult enough to answer this question. I'm not. I don't know, and I'm pretty sure neither do you. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, the that's the thing though is nobody knows what the right answer is. I, so. I think it's I think it's wrong to do that. But. I can personally feel that it's wrong, and I think there are times though where it, there's a justification for abortion where it's going to kill the mother or it's a product of forced sexual interaction or something like that. But that could be my own personal convictions on the matter. Yeah, and I and I'm okay with you disagreeing with that. See, and I think it's hard because that's like saying, "Well, they're going to grow up; they're going to have AIDS when they're born." Well, there's so certain we should things like where, where like, you no. think that it's wrong to drink alcohol. Are you going to impede on someone else's? Absolutely. If you live in Utah, you sure are. <laughs> <laughs> you sure are. Uh, but uh, yeah, th- and that's the thing: you can have a personal opinion and a public opinion. That's something uh, that Hillary Clinton said, and I I can see that. Personally, now it's like they're both the same thing, and fuck what the public thinks. Um, but okay. it's I think that's what Europe is a public right? policy opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's like on a, what should be illegal and what should not. And that's what that's the really hard part is like, do I think? I it's, think I think if I got someone pregnant and they had an abortion, see, that, I would be thing. livid. It's, I would it's, too. It's, it's 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 the debate of whether or not you're using abortion, whether or not like, someone else did. And that's the problem is then. Whose choice is it? Should you be involved in the choice? Some people would say I, not at all. I would and I would hope, be pissed about that. I would hope so, but you know what? I am not the one having the child. So. But it is partly yours, and it's a product of you. So like, it's The easy part is me, though. Yeah, but it's... Not the hard part. It's still you. Nah. And the problem is, is if they get rid of it, they don't have to ask you. But if they keep it, then they come to you, and you gotta pay them, man. It's fucked up. Well, if abortions were gone, how many people would have stupid sex? Or are they just like as teenagers just be like, hey, Lots. I want to not. Probably a lot of people still. still. Yeah. I don't know, like, what are you talking about? Well, it, they they don't have the option know. anymore to like not have it, so they have to have the kid. Uh, yeah, which means they would have to be more careful. And, so like, you're saying that they're just going to keep being idiots. You're just going to propagate stupidity, is what you're saying. And then he'll he'll use them as his vote I mean, as his voting base. Still, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'll have to do. You know, <laughs> the Craig party. Craig party. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm glad everybody gets to know our opinions or non-opinions on abortion. Yeah. It's it's a tough one though, yeah. Stupid. And the hard thing this though. Is a, this is a debate in every college And that's though. that's the hard thing for me too, Cameron, is I I get you and like there was a time where I was like, man, if they're going to have like down syndrome or something, maybe I would do it. But now I'm like there are people with down syndrome that have lobbied to Congress saying like we shouldn't have to justify our existence. And I'm like that's true and extremely sad and it's kind of sad that i thought that like yeah i would just i would just get rid of it if that was ever a threat it's like is living with problems better than not living at all and me not believing in god by the way i think the idea of god is fucking stupid i don't think there's an afterlife and that's all the reason more to do the right thing and live for as long as i fucking can because i don't think there's anything after this yeah, I think it is better to live in hardship than to not live at all. I absolutely think that. And I think anybody that thinks otherwise is crazy. Is crazy. Maybe if I'm dying of, like, intestinal cancer and, like, I kill myself, in that case, yes. But I have lived. So we're going to bring the assisted suicide debate to the table? We well? already did. Um, I think it's fine. But you've lived. Twice is okay with it. Assisted suicide, you have lived and now want to die. It's not someone chose to kill me before I could live. Although you would never know that because you never were. But like I, for me, it's I would rather live in pain and like in not a great scenario than not live at all. Because like I had a really shitty childhood, and I'm still glad that I'm alive. It's not like, well, my mom was poor; should have probably aborted me. I don't ever think that. I think she probably shouldn't have had my sisters because she should have learned from her mistake, but she didn't. 
my capable. Uh, I d- the thing that makes me like kind of cringe at this conversation. Uh, I had a my high school sweetheart. Her mother would uh, would like say I should have aborted you because she had the opportunity to. Jesus Christ! And she would do that. She would bring that up in arguments. I'm like Jesus Christ, that's fucked up. Um, <laughs> in which case, you know, I'm like <laughs> I don't like this topic. I just yeah. don't like it because it's it's just not. Mm. So that's just fucked up. With several I mean, that's that is fucked up. I think about that every once in a while. I'm like, like, a, yeah. how many people were thinking about having an abortion, didn't, and then are going to hang that upon their child for the rest of their life? Yeah. And then I'm like, well, maybe they shouldn't have had abortion. Or just give the child up. Like, it's not like that's but, not But, I mean, that's yeah. not the whole reason to have an abortion. No, the reason <laughs> no, 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 is they don't yeah, want to deal with it, so they get rid of it. And that's why it that's sickens me. That's the worst type of abortion. That's why yeah. it disgusts me, and that's almost the only uh, type of abortion. There were there's like millions a year. You can't tell me they were all incest and rape because <laughs> they weren't. It was convenience, uh, and I could kill a lot of people at my work for convenience. <laughs> Don't freak out. I'm not going to go postal, okay. but there are a lot of people that are going to become full time employees with benefits in front of me, and it would be convenient if they were no longer there. I don't do it though because I'm not an asshole, <laughs> and because I I don't think I can get rid of ten hmm. bodies. You but could. See, you're thinking, two, you're thinking maybe. too drastic. You Just find things that would get them fired and then frame them for it. It's impossible to fire people now, though. Once you, the union stuff, that dude, they're, they're, you're bulletproof at that place. I mean, not literally. Well, why the fuck the aren't you joining? Postal thing. I well, I'm kind of bulletproof after my first ninety days anyway, too. Hmm. Unless I really fuck up, but it's that. That's how I look at it. Is like it is past a, ninety days by now, right? Oh yeah. It's, okay. It's seven months in, <laughs> but. It's uh, it's tough though. It's tough. But it's tough going to the post office and not murdering people. No, no. Oh, okay. It, yeah, but no. Hmm. It is a hard. It is a hard discussion, and it bothers me that people will close themselves off because I'm not even. I know what I think is wrong, but I don't know that I think that everyone should think that way, and it should be made illegal necessarily. Okay. I might be pro, you know, like legalized murder in a way if i'm not if i do view it as the same thing but yeah that's what makes it that's what makes it hard for me is that people aren't willing to accept that the that someone that has a different opinion might have some pretty damn good points and that's why there are political debates in this world is because both sides have their merits generally well um i mean if it's like uh, if it's like a kkk member and like a black dude obviously the kkk member doesn't really have the merits because it's just pure (laughs) hatred you know, but like most arguments, both sides will have some good points, and that's why it's such a such a hot topic. But you just got to make sure you don't you don't put up those walls and go into your little defense mode and not think about anything other than the fact that you're right in this because there really isn't much of a right answer, to be honest. Well, I'm kind of a hothead guy, and so are you, Schweiss. We'll we'll get on it, it on an opinion and not want to change unless like. You know, but we will change our minds. I've seen you change your mind every once in a while. Um, but not everybody's like that. Some people are going to hear you saying that you're pro life, and then they're gonna they're gonna really fucking hate you. Just the, <laughs> and they're never they're not gonna listen to a, a single thing you say. Uh, and they're not even gonna they're not gonna respect you whatsoever after that. Even though you have like. Maybe maybe that's the only thing that separates you from another person. Yeah, yeah, um, and that's what's sad. I think. Um, yeah, I'm pro is. not making a choice about this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is like it's it, it well, and that's what it boils down to is like, are you going to let that get in the way of what you think of someone? And the answer should be no. It should be well, they, they just think differently. It's not yeah, Mark Duplass said something nice about Ben Shapiro the other day and had to apologize. Yeah, that's fucking retarded. <laughs> Like, <laughs> he's like, how dare he say something nice about someone on the other side of the aisle? Let's all attack him, uh, and that's what happened to Mark Duplass. And then he had to apologize for saying something nice about someone else. And see, I would refuse that's to apologize. That's the thing. Yeah, I, I would be too. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, look, I did a nice thing. Why should I fucking apologize for that? And see, that's the sad thing is that's the world we live in now. Is the the age of apology is like what it is. Like we just. You say something, and and Mark Mark Duplass tried to be kind. He's obvious. He's very left wing, but you know he said something nice about a right wing guy, and he he gets shat on. Yeah, 
completely. And it's because we don't have what? anything else to occupy our minds. I don't, yeah. Okay, so now we're get circling a job. back. There yeah. you go, get, get a job. Get a fucking job, get a second job, get a third job. If you've got time to worry about things that aren't actually there. I disagree with all this. Get another job. <laughs> Fuck job. Get a fucking hobby. <laughs> Do something. Don't just sit there and... Start a fight club. Start a fight club, yeah. Steal fat from the fat... Don't talk about fight club, though. Don't, yeah, you can't talk about it. It, that, so it's it's hard for me, um, and it's also hard for me to be surrounded by people that make poor money decisions. Not you guys, but like at work, people that are regulars and making like way more than me. They're like, ah, I gotta pay off that credit card. And I'm like, what? what are you fucking stupid? Like you're you're in your forties and you're in debt. That's like a kid thing. That's like a that's like a, oh I was nineteen and I was an idiot. Uh, yeah, I took care of that in my twenties. You know, uh, that's frustrating too, but not nearly as frustrating as people who think a certain way and refuse to to think a different or to think that maybe someone else could be right. That's the worst. Um, And it's hard. Okay. Are we all reading the chat? I think we are. (laughs) Yeah, it seems like everybody's all over all over the place. Yeah. Okay. We, we love you all. Be everyone nice to each a, other. Everyone has an opinion about a controversial topic. That's know? the nice part, yeah. Everybody can talk about it. I don't know if I do have an opinion. You do have an opinion. I'm deciding Just whether or not... you don't want to share. I'm deciding whether or not life is sacred. And if life is sacred, then killing all should be wrong. Yeah. If life is not sacred, then who cares? But see, my thing is, is if someone... I think you're <laughs> taking it too I'd, stripped down. I don't There's... know. To me, it's like, it's an A, A equals B, B equals C. It's kind of like, is life sacred than killing anybody? Well, they seem to think so. Should be illegal. Is life not sacred? Well, then, um, well, killing in a way that how... keeps society well, together... See... What got, I guess that's okay. Then we should also argue the merits of the perch and see if that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and see if that is something. But that. no, really, I'm like, what's the difference between the two? I mean, I, there is one that's like the moral, but does moral exist? The morality does morality exist? So you know, it's like, a, well, he killed people. We must we must kill him. No, but I think the whole abortion debate is arguing when is when is it people inside? When you? is it people? Yeah. Well, it gets a heartbeat about like a ten days. It gets in. a heartbeat pretty quick. Yeah. So I honestly, I think that's just justification for something. There you feel is bad like the morning doing. after pill that stops it from happening. Yeah, at and all. that doesn't kill anything. But really. then some groups still think it's life before then. They do. They yeah. Can't fucking but stop then, those and people. And then and then uh, someone know. else in the chat brought up a if you take it so far back. Someone else in the chat brought this up. When does jacking off become abortion? There are people that think that that's wrong for that reason. Well, I. I've I'll killed many. Yeah, I've killed slaughtered. so many. <laughs> and you piss them, and you piss them out too. They go away. It's not like you flush it out. Month old sperm in there after you haven't jacked yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So your body expels it on its own too. So is your body inherently evil? Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Like that's if a you little... go forever without it. Then it. Uh, then yeah, we're going it's super just, it's super. Gonna happen anyway. The original true. sin path on this. Yeah, um, I think that's a little ridiculous, but yeah. <laughs> to me, it's if it's affecting someone else, it's probably not okay. Um, it's usually how I feel about things. It's like being an active... If I were an active drug user, I don't think I should go to jail for that. I don't think I should go to jail for doing something that's... But if you stole like. a bunch of shit to get I drugs, should go to jail yeah. for stealing. Sure. Uh, that's different, yeah. Um, eh, it's just, there's a lot of stupid shit out there that bothers me. Mm-hmm. Like personal drug abuse. Like, yeah, it's a problem for me, but sending me to prison is not going to change me. Um, I think that's wrong. I think it's fine to kill someone that has killed. Um, okay. I don't think life is sacred in their case because they ended a life. And quite frankly, there's is. Well, but it, the only the reason whole, you think. But when is it is okay to end a life? Because of old cultural things that started with the Levant religion, religions. Other uh, other parts of the ro- world don't look at life as sacred. No, that's fine. So it's interesting. Those are all uh, carryovers. Mm-hmm. That yeah. have affected this culture. Yeah. I think it's wrong to put people in jail for 30 years and then kill them. I think you should just kill them then. Mm. I think it's a waste of time and a waste of my money, which I work hard for, mm. just to give away. Um, but yeah, it's tough. And then talking about it is what makes it... I don't. I like talking about it, even if I don't agree with the person. I, do, I don't love talking about it over the podcast. No, that's kind of a hard <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I don't like talking talk about my opinion can be used against me later in life. Yeah. Well, I don't care if anybody uses it against me. That's my thing is 
I don't give a fuck what they say. And uh, what happens when you want a job and they give a fuck about what you said? I don't care. Then I don't get that job. I've never had that experience once. Of course. Um, and I don't think I will. Because uh, work your way up on that post office. Yeah, it won't matter. We'll it's all happens. seniority based. Is it gonna be post office the rest of your life? I don't know. It's just post office. All Have the you way thought up. about it? Yeah, it would be easy. I mean, I could just stay there. Yeah. Get pretty good retirement. You're going to go postal? Probably not. You're going to be postmaster general uh, for a I small town? I wanted to murder fucking people the other day. Man, FedEx is the most bureaucratic bullshit. And that's the nice thing is... Fucking business ever. We're not bureaucratic, but that's also the bad thing. Is it's all based on how, how is long it you, not bureaucratic? It's all based on how long you've been there. Oh, but... It's seniority-based. Nothing else. No merits. Uh, they can remove you from the position if you're bad at it. But if you've been there forever and you bid on a job, you get that job hands down it's yours so it's worse see jake now it's opinions like that that make me angry as well and i'm sure that socialism is inherently evil any extreme <laughs> any extreme but opinions what, any any extreme opinions i think yeah yeah well it is taking from somebody and giving it to everybody else which is technically wrong i guess but well technically it's, wrong it's according deeper. to what well, according to this is mine and fuck you oh, okay <laughs> that's what it's according to um, I, I did see a sweet. He keeps he keeps quoting. He keeps bringing up <laughs> themes brought from a book that we both read, <laughs> where we think a certain way because we've been taught to think that way when actually it doesn't exist at all. So, so yeah. According to what is the is it yours? Well, there's not? two books. There's Power of Myth on top of that. Oh, I didn't read that one. That's great. Um, I did see a really funny meme the other day. It was like um, that was where the religions, you know. All the all the morality in certain cultures is coming from these stories that have been passed down, and you can see where those stories have arrived from based upon the landscape that the culture resided in, what type of gods that they believed in, what type yeah. of morality, and like uh, good and evil is a morality based upon religions that came from a certain area in the Middle East. Other places didn't have that, so the way that they look at life is different, whether life is sacred or not in, in other cultures, they don't even think about it. Yeah. Not, not in the same way. Life is nice, <laughs> but it's not, you know, totally sacred. Yeah. Uh, I did see a funny meme though. It was like, uh, it said socialism is when the government says that you have to give all your, give your stuff away. And then democratic socialism is when half of your neighbors say that, Oh no, it was, a. Uh, Socialism is when the government says you they own your stuff. Democratic socialism is when half of your neighbors say that they own your stuff. <laughs> it's like, that's a good point. They're both pretty fucking shitty. <laughs> One's just a choice from a majority, and the other is a choice from a very minor group of people who are running wow. things. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's based off of it's mine. I'm in that weird centrist place. Yeah. I I am too. Where I feel like I'm alone here because everybody's always on like either side of the aisle <coughs> looking ridiculous. Um uh villainizing the other side completely. Yeah. Uh and it it's it's stupid and it drives me nuts. But That's how I feel too though. I just sit here and I'm like, well, you know, I kinda just want the pragmatic um solution, the uh, you know, maybe the smaller solution, you know, just small baby step solutions towards Progress, uh, progress mostly based upon um, numbers and uh, chemistry and things like that. I don't care about progress based on feelings as much. It's yeah. like, how do we get rid of crime? Well, this has led to a lower percentage of crime. This Then those are the policies that should be put in place. Um, not so much, um, not the feel-good policies, not the policies that make people feel better, like... Boys and girls clubs, which have been shown to do nothing. Yeah. Um, like putting a whole bunch of those in place doesn't really do anything. But lowering the vacation amount in in uh, high school and junior high from three months down to three weeks improves education immensely and quality of life and crime level. And like that's a very pragmatic, duh, solution that no one talks about because we all have feelings and, well, it's tradition to have the summers off. <laughs> It's yeah. Like, well, this is obviously not the right choice. 
Um, those so, those kind of policies. Are I want to talk about that, that a little support. more. Yeah. Well, did they ever come up with a plan where if you have less of a vacation, do you graduate sooner because you're getting more school from the beginning? No, you graduate at the same you time you normally would. You just have more you just schooling. Have, you throughout just have your more life. school. Yeah. And it was it's actually like, it's the, like what the Japanese do. They have like yeah. two breaks, and it's only like a couple weeks. That's so. what it was. It's the Mal- the Outliers book. Malcolm Glad. There's a whole chapter on this. Okay. And it's talking about. Um, uh, you know, certain school systems that were doing better in education, just like just way better, and they they had they never had a break longer than three weeks within their school year. And but we because we are based on an old farming culture, and that's what kids had to go leave school to do yeah. do all that stuff. That we we still have that yeah. uh, calendar year. Yeah, our school system uh, is severely antiquated, so yes. we don't have another voicemail bond sect. Um, and that's a good point. Socialism works if everyone's in on it. That's true. But no, no one, they're never going to all be in on it. Not no. very often. So, like, if it's a small community, then please, yeah. Please, let's uh, I would say that communism would work, too, if it's a small community. Um, if you go inhabit Mars, it's going to be communistic for a little while until you finally set up a market and then you get things you want rather than things you need because you're on a fucking planet that's not Earth. So it's all what you fucking need. So it is going to be communistic for a little while. Um, and it's not bad because everyone knows going in and hey, this is going to be your thing. You fucking hold your weight, or you're, you know, we're going to fucking take your air. Oh, but there's also a society of shame that has to be there if someone's not, you know, uh, in a small community, you could you could be communistic, but there will be some sort of shaming going on. Yeah, like oh, that guy's half from people are half assing. Yeah, and that, yeah. Uh, you know, if you live in a small commune then that would be effective in that sort of thing. But if we're anti-shame and pro-communist, then I think you might have a problem there. That's true. Uh, Your son? Oh, shit. Um, Schweiss, just don't open those things, and then you know I didn't open it. No, it's not a new one, you asshat. It fucking pulls all of them in. So, like, when they give me a call, it says older than this week, and it has their number in every voicemail they've ever left me. Okay. That's all it shows. Okay. So no, the answer is no. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't. Uh, the only way I could figure out which one's yours. <laughs> what's your last? What's the last three digits of your number? Yeah. What are the last three <laughs> digits of your phone number? And I'll find it. And we'll answer it right now because we weren't going to answer another one because I didn't think we had one. But what you just said, I don't. I've never answered that in my life. <laughs> never heard that. So yeah, we could do it if we could find it. Just make this the longest, most controversial. It's really episode long. Yeah, we're we're getting dark. at almost a full episode here because we had to talk about abortion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I have the last one. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. If this... Hey, I just wanted to follow up. Hey guys, this is Corey, long time caller, first time listener. Dude, we told me. No, so we, yeah, we I've been married listening. for eight years. Yeah, we didn't. We don't have another one. Yeah. Um, Sorry. So no, we didn't. Because we didn't get it. Yeah, we don't see it on. All here. we have is the the blowjob one and the response to the blowjob one, and that's it. We don't have anything <laughs> else on there. It's all right. This is this um, is a. Uh, I guess it's a good time to end it. Yeah. Um, try doing the call again. I guess. Yeah. Um, leave us your message. How long guys? does it? Ta- how long does it let you leave a message for before it cuts? It'll off? It'll cut you off, but it. I think it'll it's like still a, leave the message. Yeah. I think it's, like it's two, two minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. It'll. It will cut you off though, because remember we had uh, yeah. Pill Gates that <laughs> that was like, wow, wow. <laughs> Why don't we cut them off? Because the voicemail is like two minutes Can't long. wait for the abortion voicemails. You can send those to three eight five two zero four three nine two one. Let's all be nice to each other and not get yeah. up on don't be a political dick. bullshit. Uh, I, I just don't want to see it. So yeah, and it's Schweiss does though. You can bother him. You uh, can if you want. I mean, you're not going to change my mind, and I'm not going to change yours. So what's the point? Okay, uh, but what? It, uh, I thought you said you could have your mind changed. I, I guess I could, but not if you're a dick. Okay. If you're a dick, it's going to do the same thing so that everybody always does. The same thing that you do to other people exactly, on Facebook yeah. when you act like a dick. Okay. Yeah. I honestly, I get I do that when I get sick of that person because you know, I think they're a piece the of so- trash. What about the Socratic method where you just ask questions? Um, That like, works too, and I've that, done that. That works way better. And I, I asked a guy at work, I was like, okay, hey, I saw this tweet, and it was the tweet, the karate one, and I was like, I know you're more of a liberal guy than me like what do you do you think 
do you, is this like is this celebratory? Is this something that you think is like yes, good work? He said no. And I'm like okay, so no one I know thinks this is this is fine and acceptable. And so like fuck, like I don't have anybody that I can like try to figure out why the fuck this is something that people are excited about. Okay. So it's good. It's good to have that. All right. How do you feel about Mike Lee wanting to take away all public lands in Utah? Um. Don't, I don't answer that on the fucking show. All public lands? All public lands. He wants um, to sell off all BLM land to private owners. Hmm. That includes things like the San Rafael Swell, all these mountains. I do think that the state should be in control of it, but hmm. Utah, I don't know if I would trust what they would do. Hmm. Yeah, they'd put some, uh, some nuclear waste on that shit. Yeah, they might, yeah. yeah. Uh, still, though, I don't like the idea of something poorly ran giant organization micromanaging 50 other organizations. I love, uh, you know what? I love the BLM. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it's poorly ran. No, I... No. They allow people to, to graze cattle on there. That's <laughs> No, I think that's fine. I don't know. I don't have an opinion on it. I don't have enough yeah. research on it. Um, but and kill, I don't know if I would trust... Kill all the endangered species? Yes, if they can't survive. Don't kill the babies, though. Don't kill the babies, Okay. Yeah. Fuck everything else. Yeah. Uh, and Craig said that the other so day, too. Baby life is sacred. Panda life is not. What did they say? Precisely. Okay. All right. As long as I got your beliefs down, as long as I understand, we can, mm-hmm. we're can. we good here. We're the only important thing in this world. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Please, God. Foot is, the foot's not even in the mouth anymore. It's like in my lower intestines. Like It's... <laughs> It's pushing out it's the back of your head. It's coming out of my asshole. Because <laughs> it went down the throat. It's poking a toe out. Yeah, a little pinky toe's like a little w- wigging out coming out of the back. So, All right. Yeah, we'll see you guys uh, We'll see you guys next time. It's Enjoy the hour-long outro. Exactly. But thank you. Bye. <laughs> Some people fuck at funerals.